I'm Thomas Demand and I'm installing a show right here, which is a set of five pieces. Five photographs of a space which I built out of cardboard in life size in the last two months. And it depicts a place we all know very well, which is the Oval Office in the White House in the States. However, of course, it is not the White House and it is not the Oval Office. It's a sculpture I made of my idea and my understanding of the place, which we all know quite well from film and press and media and West Wing and all other kind of replications of that powerful space. It's all made of entirely of cardboard. The, the carpet is confetti. This is not Madame Tussaud, obviously. It kind of really stops in front of any detail. You know, like for instance, the flag doesn't have any stars on it. You know, there's no writing on the, on the papers, which would of course be easy to do. I'm really trying to translate it into something which I find valid as a sculpture, or like as a thing, as an object, which is, has its own beauty or something. But what I'm aiming for is basically the, the point where you just can, you can recognize this place as a place, but also see something about the place which you haven't seen before. So somehow I'm trying to kind of lurch into your subconscious, you know, library of images basically and like to fill it up with, you know, more detail like the curtain, you know, the shininess of the golden curtain or like the, the eagles on the top of the flagpoles or something. So I always try to stop when it gets too much of about how it really is or something. I'm really not interested how it is, it's, I, I'm really interested in how you think it would be. Like every president, you realize that every president has a different interior designer, which is mostly the wife. So the old Bush, the Bush senior had a completely different setup, which was a bit more tasteful, I think, than the current one. But then, you know, Clinton is also not beyond criticism because his interior design was very pompous and very much about power and representation. But he had a dark carpet, which I kind of find very good. And then, you know, I took the curtains from George W. Jr. and uh, George W. Bush Jr. And I, you know, like I put a few elements of Reagan in there, like the parquetry. And so I kind of basically made a hybrid of the place rather than a portrait of one president's office. So here you see like the fireplace, basically. Fireplace is quite enigmatic. And I, you know, like when the Pope visited George W, he would, for instance, sit in front of the fireplace. We have a view from underneath the chair the master's chair. It's kind of about power somehow, but it's also, it seems to be like, um, again, you know, being in an impossible situation of photographing the place as you would be if you visit the president of the United States. My life is kind of um, at, at least equally influenced by pictures of things than it is as it is in things. Like, you know, like we have like, we know what's nice because of we saw it in a magazine or we know who's a good man because we have seen him on TV or like, you know, like all these kind of things. We make lots of decisions about our life and what we want and where, who we are and where we want to go from pictures. And I find this as an artist enormously interesting because I work with pictures all the time as an artist.